It was down in the Panhandle Valley when I was King Bull of them all that my eye fell on Sweet Angelina. And I sounded my bold mating call. She said, yes. On our honeymoon, she and I sauntered through the glamorous Grand Hotel door. And believe it or not, at that instant, the Nazis and Japs declared war. From here, from there, from everywhere, the beat of drums, the bugles blare, the guns and men were passing through. Look, holy smoke, there goes Snafu. I saw my duty. I waved her goodbye. If Snafu could make it, by gosh, so could I. I made it, and boy, was I processed. Wherever he fought, on whatever far shore, I'd follow Snafu, and I'd feed him, I swore. Damn the torpedoes, I cried to the crew. Full speed ahead, with a food for Snafu. Eat. He cannot win unless he has his mighty men. Through ice and snow and sleep they crunch. They must get through with Snafu's lunch. I can't make it. I'm pooping. I'm all through. Through rain and mud and jungle heat, one only thought, let Snafu eat! Past. In spite of bomb and shrapnel blast, the precious food arrives at last. Come and get it! More, more, come on, give me a little more. Atta boy, you're a good guy. Come on, give me a little more. That's it, come on, Logan. That's more like it. the first day of war. But now I'm regretting my haste. I joined up as food for Snafu. But all I became was just waste. 